Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we want to talk about Apple Glasses. Now you might be sitting there thinking, what are Apple Glasses? Well, it's a new rumored product that will be coming out 2021 or 2022 and it is what it sounds like. Apple is maybe making a pair of glasses. Yeah, and this is more than just a rumor at this point. Mm -hmm. One of the number one sources that we have of information about Apple Glasses or whatever they're going to call it, eyeglass, leave a comment in the comment section below about what you think they're going to call it because God knows they'll pick something clever, is patents that they actually file themselves. Yes. And there have been a number of very interesting patents lately that have to do with a head-based virtual optical display system. Yeah, I just want to, I want to read it out. One of the patents shows a holographic display on a pair of otherwise ordinary looking safety glasses. Apple isn't gonna give away their design secrets in one patent application. Mm -hmm. So they, they release all these little patents and they've been doing it for years that have to do with sticking stuff on your face and mm -hmm. all sorts of different technologies. Yes, yeah, so how will these glasses work and what will they do? Well, they're gonna to connect to your iPhone mm -hmm. and a lot of the process, I think all the processing power is actually offloaded to uh, iPhone. Well, that's that's a thought. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna be all offloaded. Okay. I think that there's gonna to have to be some sort of a little processor inside, just like there's a processor inside of the EarPods and that it's probably gonna use Bluetooth 5 to keep the data going back and forth. Cause yeah, I think you're right that you're not gonna be able to fit a large enough processor to do all the work in just the glasses. Yeah, these glasses allegedly will have a nice up, heads up display, give you some information and give you an extended reality experience that includes augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality. Right, I didn't know what XR was, extended reality. It's just the blanket term that covers all of the other ones. So if you're making a video about rumors, it's good to say extended reality because then it's harder to be wrong. Yeah. So when we talk about smart glasses, you probably think Google Glass, mm -hmm. which was released initially in 2013, became public in 2014, and it, it just failed. Yeah, Google Glass was an experiment more than it was, I think, a fully fleshed out product. I had a chance to use Google Glass when I was on Maui. A friend of mine, Keith, had a pair, and I talked him into letting me put it on my face, and let me tell you, I was not impressed. The resolution on this thing was like looking at a monitor from 1992. It was not very powerful. It was not very useful. It was not cool at all. Yeah, that's one of the things we want to think about too is that in the past six or seven years, the technology has advanced a lot in terms of AR and VR. And now the new iPads also have the LiDAR scanners, which will help this out. Mm -hmm. um, but you also need to consider that the major AR and VR headsets right now, they're massive and you can't walk around outside of them. So. Mm -hmm. I think we need to temper expectations for what this first round of Apple glasses is actually going to do for us. Right. It's going to be great. It's going to be like the first iPad or the first Apple Watch, which was a great product. Both of them were great products and groundbreaking, but then they very quickly over the next few years got a lot slicker and a lot cooler and a lot more useful. So first generation Apple Glass will be coming out, I think, in the next few years. You'll probably be able to get prescription lenses. You can, yeah. That's, that's the rumor that you can have your own prescription lenses with the glasses, I'm not, I don't think I would be doing that, but. Yeah, man, it's gonna be really cool. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna, you know, heads up display is just, you're looking out at the world and you see the weather over here and you see, you see it in cars now, but they put the speedometer on the windshield of some fancy cars, but uh, not my Camry. Yeah. Yeah, starting price for these glasses rumored to be $499. Pretty reasonable price point for a brand new product like this. Yep, and it's a complete rumor, so we could be completely wrong on that. And if you have to add prescription lenses, I'm sure they'll make it very expensive and possible for you to do that as well. Yo, know, people can come back to this video in two years and just say they were wrong about this, 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 and this. So. Right. But hey, at least we took a stab at it. Yep. And, you know, this is more than just a rumor at this point. People are talking about it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it is a rumor. That's sort of the definition of a rumor, I guess. <laughs> so I think we should really talk about usefulness again and really hammer this point home and what people can actually do with these glasses. Yep. If there's no use for it, there's really no point of having the product. And that's what Google Glass, uh, that, that's where they failed, really. So with Apple Glasses, let's talk about accessibility. People that have low vision or vision problems, imagine just being able to look anywhere and expand or blow up what you see. It would, it would fix all sorts of problems, mm -hmm. you know, reading a book that with small print. Fixed. Done. Amazing, this technology. Yep. I don't exactly know how they're going to do it, but it is amazing. Other things, it's just going to be cool to be able to, you know, see the weather and know when you get a message. It's going to possibly, it'll be interesting, the driving experience 
as you're driving down the road, yeah. how much is going to be able to be less distracting and how much is going to be more distracting, you know, if you've got messages flying in from over here and, you know. Yep. We should also probably mention that there's not going to be a camera on right. these glasses. Uh, that would create a huge privacy issue. I know Google Glass had the camera. Yeah. Uh, but that uh, major privacy issue with that. Yeah, people don't like that idea. So there might not be a camera. I'm going to be surprised if there's some sort of a camera. Yeah, we really want to hear from you on this too. Yeah. What do you think about Apple Glasses? And leave us comments down below. Maybe we'll follow up with a video like Apple Glasses predictions video. Yeah, with what you guys say too. Yeah. So like, what are they going to be used for? Mm -hmm. What are the features that you're looking forward to or not looking forward to? What are they going to be called? Eyeglass? Apple Glass? Apple Lens? Eye Lens? I'll stop there. Those are not good names. <laughs> Maybe like that Star Trek episode with the, the VR glasses and they... Toss the discs into the cone. Maybe a we'll have that a game. great episode. Yeah. The game. The game, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> so that's our video on Apple Glasses. Thanks for watching. As we said, leave us a comment down below. Tell us your thoughts, what it's going to be named, all that stuff. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about Apple products.